I want you all to imagine that you are treasure hunters, but the treasure that you're seeking cannot be seen, yet there are millions of invisible beacons that once you do discover, uh, they hold tremendous value. Now, it sounds like a completely different world, but really it's the world that you're living in now. The treasure is Wi-Fi and the value is your location. And so today I'm going to talk about Geomina, the open Wi-Fi geo database. So there are now many browsers that can find your location using Wi-Fi. The way it works is every Wi-Fi access point has a unique ID, and that ID, if it's geocoded and stored, can then be looked up by anyone. So stored once, looked up by anyone. And of course, there are people doing this already. Big names like Google and Skyhook. Wiggle is a war driver database that's been around for a long time where users compete to discover Wi-Fi. Wiggle doesn't do anything with their database. Google and Skyhook, of course, both do uh, geo lookups. But I think there's room for an, an open solution there. Because when you have millions of, of access points, the data is bound to go stale. And the more we depend on this data, the more important it is to have it updated. And there was a, a story a couple weeks ago in Engadget about this exact issue. So I think there are a few models that we can learn from for, uh, for Geomina. One is Wikipedia, with over 3 million human-edited articles. An open street map, which is an editable map of the entire world. Geomina is licensed like Wikipedia and is editable and downloadable like OpenStreetMap. And today, you could go and you could add Wi-Fi uh, by the access point and by latitude and longitude point. And geomina.org is set up to be a provider to do location lookups as well. And so you could set that in Firefox right now and use Geomina for, uh, for your lookup. But going one access point at a time is really not going to cut it. It's not going to build a huge database that we need. So that's why today we're launching the Geomina API, a writable API that will allow developers to create the tools, define the data that will eventually fuel the applications that they'll create in the future. Which takes me back to my original slide of the treasure hunters. This is actually a screenshot from a Nintendo DS game called uh, Treasure World. And in that game, because the DS has Wi-Fi, it uses Wi-Fi to create the treasures that are then found. So it's a game that's interacting with the real world. So now imagine if a game like that was built on a platform that had GPS, that had a consistent internet connection. So that's probably at the top of the list of what we would like to see coming out of the Geomina API. But the, the potential is limitless, of course, and we look forward to seeing what people come up with and uh, building what is already, because it's the only open geodatabase, it's already the world's largest open geodatabase. So thank you.